Hey guys, it's the Sunday after Christmas and we're feeling it. I hope your holidays were more than you wish them to be and the stress levels non-existent. In case you don't know, I'm Nolly Gonzalez, author of Daisies on Graves, a collection of short stories and poems. It's available as an ebook for 99 cents, so check the link in the description to get your copy today. I'm also currently editing my first novel, which is set to debut in October of 2020. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media to stay in the know of my progress and any news. Speaking of which, today I'm sharing some of my goals for this upcoming year. 2019 had understandable fails, which were brushed aside by phenomenal triumphs. Oh, and before I go any further on what my plans are for the new year, there are literally three days left to enter my New Year's giveaway. So you have today, tomorrow, and the day after to enter for a chance to win either a $50 or one of two $25 Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is make sure you're following me on all social media platforms, then leave a purple heart in the comments of the original post on Instagram. The winner will be announced on New Year's Day so you can start your year off right. Now for 2019, I had planned to have my novel debut this past fall, but I had my daughter and I took off more time than I had anticipated. I know, damn it Nolly. This pushed off my timeline dramatically and it took a while for me to come to terms with it, but then I remembered I decided to self-publish for a reason, so I can have control and final say over my book. And if that means pushing off the release date, then so be it. Traditional publishers do it all the time and no one bats an eye, so we can too. It turns out that hiatus and date change were a blessing. Looking over my novel, I realized I was unhappy with its direction. So I rewrote it. It took a couple weeks with me slacking off on the second week, then taking my work seriously and giving myself a deadline. Now I'm cleaning it up in order to send it to beta readers. Now I have a lot of goals for 2020, but the important ones for the first quarter are to recruit volunteers who will beta read my novel for free, then offer me some feedback. If you want to be one of those lucky people, the application is available down in the description. Another goal is to finish the project I started for Nano. I was making good progress, but I decided to put it on hold so I could focus on this novel. I'll likely do that while my first novel is being looked over by the beta readers. And lastly, and most importantly, get my novel professionally edited, assuming there are very little issues when I get my beta feedback. There are a bunch of little things in the works during the first three months of 2020, but the ones I mentioned are the most important and a must before my novel debut. Another goal that is not writing related is to read more. Being back on a schedule and setting realistic deadlines for myself has improved my productivity by leaps and bounds. Which is amazing because I suck at organization. But it's given me more time to read and I want to get back to reading a book a week. Baby steps, obvi, so I'll start with an hour a day and work my way up from there. And that's all I've got for you today. It's my last video for 2019 so be super sweet and tell me your goals for 2020 in the comments. Remember to enter my giveaway, it's ridiculously easy to do so. Subscribe to my channel for past and future videos from me. Click that bell icon so you never miss an update and follow me on social media Media and like all platforms. Seriously, you could win something this time. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.